That will never happen. Really? No. Mm. There's more story to tell. It's really sad what's happened. Just say there's no more story to tell, right? Is a story for season two of The Valley. Will there be a VPR season 12? Who is holding up production of VPR? Do you think VPR will come back? From Vanderpump Rules contract drama to Lala Kent dropping some serious shade. What the hell is going on with the future of VPR? Let's hash it all out together. Word on the street is season 12 might be postponed even more. And it's not because of the cast messy relationships. Shocker, right? Bravo is having some major money problems with cast contracts. Apparently, they've been paying the cast so much that they're considering dropping a few people down from main cast members to friends of. Like, imagine Sheena Shea getting demoted. Wild, right? Bravo's pushing for one final season, but filming has been delayed while they work this out. Okay, you guys, so as I was editing this, Sheena put out a podcast answering questions about everything that's going on, about the rumors and, and the, the nastiness, nastiness about her. This on season 12. Why are they not taping yet? It's so far into the fall. This is what Sheena has to say. We're back. Will there be a VPR season 12? Who is holding up production of VPR? Do you think VPR will come back? So many questions about this. Um, I don't know. I hope so. I think we definitely owe it to the fans to whether it is a final season, whether it is a continuation of our storyline in whatever way, I think that we owe it to everyone to do another. You know, I don't feel like our story ended in San Francisco last year and at that reunion. I think there is so much more story to tell. So I know there have been some reports saying there are delays due to like some cast members not getting along and whatnot, holding out for more money. Um, I haven't heard that personally. That's definitely not me. So I guess, you know, the simple answer for all of you is just uh, there is no status update to share. But yeah, as far as I know, there's no hold up around like people holding out for more money because I don't even think the conversations are there yet. So you guys are definitely going to have to let me know in the comments. Do you think that like Ariana outgrew Vanderpump Rules? Do you think that Vanderpump Rules is just over? I mean, I really don't want to see the Toms and their new girlfriends and Sheena and Lala have already like ran to the valley and Sheena has dropped so many like little hints and little hee hees about the valley. She said that there's going to be a storyline with this guy named Julian and Brittany and Jax. So Julian was Lala's friend and she brought him into the group. And then when Jax and Brittany broke up, that was who Brittany rebounded with. Tell the truth, girl. Lala played it cool on her podcast, but was she pissed when she found out that Brittany and Julian were hooking up? Did Brittany know Julian was engaged? Oof, I think that is a story for season two of The Valley and a great time to take another ad break. <laughs> Speaking of, will you be on The Valley? Will I be on The Valley? I mean, you already saw me on it last season and I've been at various events with my friends this summer where there happened to be cameras, so... I might appear, might not be the capacity everyone is speculating, or it might be, I don't know. Jenny underscore Jamie. And they're also working on a Vanderpump Rules spinoff. Filming has already started for the new show, and it's supposedly all about the new staff at Sir. And don't get too excited, though, because this spinoff is in its early, early stages. So we probably will not be seeing it for a while. Now let's move on to even hotter tea. Lala Kent and her very public fallout with Ariana Maddox. Lala spilled all the details on a podcast with Jeff Lewis and Ryan Bailey, and it does not sound like she's planning to patch things up with Ariana anytime soon. She straight up said she will never be friends with Ariana again, like not even close. Getting upset with you, maybe thinking that you were a little harsh on Ariana. Is that correct? That was reason. And I'm not. Yeah, I mean, no, I lost my. I lost my mind. I. I we have been doing this a long time and everyone kind of knows I've never been able to sit there and say, I'm absolutely not fucking doing that. <laughs> that sounds great, but I'm not fucking doing that. And for the first time that I've, that in the time I've been a part of the show, I was like, oh, we have one cast member who's really putting their foot down. Understandably, understandably, right? Mm -hmm. But it changed everything as far as filming a television show because if we all acted that way there's no show someone gets to say they're not doing x y and z 
I'm not doing X, Y, and Z because that's not real. Does it make sense? Then you don't have a fucking show. I understand what you're right. saying. Like, where do you go from here? I know. Here? And it's so easy to just be like, can't we all just dislike John Jansen? Couldn't, like, last season we all just dislike Sandoval? Couldn't we just focus on that and repair every female friendship? Because that's the basis of good reality TV or the female friendship? Why? Okay. Can we talk about how fast Lala was to forgive Tom Sandoval after the whole Scandoval mess? And now she's like, nope, I'm done with Ariana. Like, Tom has talked so much crap about Lala and... She just cuts. I just don't get it. She just cuts Ariana off like nothing. I don't know about you, but it really just does not add up to me. What kind of relationship do you have with Ariana today? We don't have one. You don't have one. No. Okay. So you've never been able to really make amends or... Or even thawing together. Like her coming to you, you coming to her. That will never happen. Really? No. Hmm. But you no. guys are all in that same social circle with Janet and Sheena and all that. There's nothing... Like, I always want people to be able to, like, you know, make up with each other, especially the women of that show who I think yeah. are the powerhouses. And especially you see that on the Valley because I think they're going to have a heavy girl power season. I mean, that's would, would there be an openness to that at some point? No. No. Wow. No. See, this I... is the problem, Lala, because this we've seen these these. You know, there's such incredible damage to these relationships, right? right? Where they become irreparable. And now they're having to end the shows as a result, right? So Vanderpump Rules is probably one of them. Like, where do you go from here? Let's just say there's no more story to tell, right? There's only two people to blame for that. And that's Sandoval and Raquel. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Lala even mentioned how she can't wrap her head around why people didn't see her side when Ariana stayed living with Tom after everything went down. And girl, she did not hold back. She's out here calling Tom a narcissist, and she's saying that she's totally done with Ariana. Yikes. Is it that I have to go ham on Tom Sandoval? Ariana still lived with him. Do you understand why I couldn't wrap my hand, hand, head around it? I mean, like, this was, the, I'm like, I want to feel a certain way. But it's, how are we using the same words? Like, I feel like I'm going and saying that no one is understanding this. Okay. Still. I, still. Right? right? This was years ago when you went through something very similar, right? The, the, the cheating, the deception, the lying, all of that. You had years and therapy to get through that. During the first six months, I'm sure you were foggy and My circling love, the drain. I didn't and, live with him still. That's right. what I'm trying. I left but the house. You don't make, you're not necessarily making rational decisions when you're first going through this, right? So you've got to, you kind of like, I don't know, you kind of got to give her some grace, I think, where she figures that out. But also, he should have moved out. That's how I view yeah. him. He's a narcissist. Well, it was, no, look, it was I, a, I mean, I've never heard that word before in reference to Tom Sandoval. But, yeah. you know, flipping out ended because of the uh, Jeff Jenny rift. Yeah. I mean, these shows are ending when you can't. Because that was a real relationship to you and mm -hmm. you couldn't repair it. Yeah. yeah it was, yeah, it was, it, we could not repair it. But, Mama, yikes. Honestly, the Vanderpump crew is more chaotic than ever. I'm here for it. Between Lala's feud with Ariana, contract drama, and the new spinoff, there's just so much to keep up with. So what do you guys think? Will season 12 even happen? Whose side are you guys on, Lala or Ariana? And let me know in the comments. As always, please hit that subscribe button so I'm not talking to myself. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye.